Hello everybody, my name is Aurora and today we're going to talk about how to be polite with dare del lei in Italian. It is a complicated matter and I need a long time before understanding why I should have to say buongiorno to somebody who says ciao. I mean, if somebody says ciao to you, it's okay to use the same word, isn't it? No, it's not. Indeed, the way we express politeness and formality in Italian is marked by the use of tu and lei. How do you express yourself will give an idea of who you are. It is your politeness business card. So we're going to see when and how to use them. Tu is the informal way of talking to people in Italian. Dare del tu. In English it is you and it is the second person singular. The first general rule um, of tu is that you have to use it with uh, relatives, friends and people that you know well. An example of how you can use tu is dove abiti, where do you live? Um, remember that in Italian the pronouns are often omitted, it means that you don't sound them. So in English we would say where, where do you live, where do you live, but in Italian we don't say you. As a general rule we use lei with people you don't know and the people who are older than you because they will expect you to use the formal lei. You will also use it when talking to um, a person representing any authority or a specific social position like police officers, teachers, doctor, doctors and so on. You have to conjugate the formal lei as you do for the third person singular she. Dove abita signore? Where do you live sir? The word lei is also a pronoun that means she and this is something that can confuse you a little. Furthermore, the polite and formal lei is used both for men and women. For example, you're at a restaurant and the waiter says per lei signore, for you sir, it will be the same as when the waiter says that to a woman. Per lei signora, for you madam. Okay, it's enough for today. If you like this video, put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And remember, verde bianco rosso. Bye!